My name is Joseph Lazagasti. I've been coming to Pantano for about three and a half years. I'm originally from New York, born in Queens, and raised into an Italian, Spanish, Irish household. I was raised Roman Catholic, baptized as an infant, and later on made communion and confirmation. My biological father was a truck driver, an alcoholic, and a drug addict. And more times than not, we all felt his rage and wrath physically, emotionally, and mentally. My mother worked two to three jobs to make ends meet, so she was gone quite a bit. Church and God wasn't present in our lives. At one point, my mother moved us to Long Island. We were enrolled in Sunday school, attended Catholic Mass, and were involved in the community. It made for a long Sunday, but life was great. Fast forward after high school, I ultimately decided to go into the Navy. I got assigned to a unit and was slated to go to Afghanistan. I was excited and nervous all at the same time. I witnessed a lot of destruction, but what hit me the hardest was the kids who suffered. It often made me look up and ask God why. I blamed him. I said, how can you let this evil happen? From then on, I hated God and I didn't talk to him. It wasn't until my second deployment, Jonathan would come into my life and plant the seed of spiritual change. John invited me to a Bible study, and I was apprehensive about it, but I went anyway. While there, we watched a YouTube video called The Star of Bethlehem. While watching it, I felt this overwhelming chill, and peace just flooded over me. It felt good. After the military, I found myself back home on Long Island. Although the seed of God was planted, again, I led astray. I drank heavily and felt like I had no purpose in life, and I felt as if I was useless. The cycle was repeating again. One night, I was watching TV with a bottle of Jameson, and I thought, tonight is the night I end it all. I reached into my gun box, pulled out my gun, held it to my head, and pulled the trigger. I heard only a click, in that sobering moment, I broke down and cried. That was the turning point in my life. I finished my associate's degree in science, started going to church, joined a triathlon team, and wanted to continue my education. I started attending the U of A. While here in Tucson, I went through a hard breakup. After the breakup, I felt lost, upset, and depressed. I had to do something to break this pattern I kept falling into. Within a few months, I found myself working with a great Christian family. They ran a livestock operation at Old Tucson and had a cattle operation. I felt free and wholesome. Right away, I loved them. I would do anything for them. And they may not realize this, but they saved me. One day, I found myself at Pantano. I had been here once before, but I didn't feel anything. It was very superficial, like I was just going through the motions. But this time was different. The first worship song I remember was Break Every Chain. Right then and there I started crying, but not the cute teary-eyed little weep, no. It was a gross, disgusting cry. Right then and there I felt the Holy Spirit. And I knew in that moment I found home and I found Jesus. For about three to four years I wanted to get involved with the church, I wanted to get closer to Jesus. I pray to God and I asked, how can I get closer to you? I read the Bible, I go to church, but I just feel like I don't know you. I prayed and made a New Year's resolution for 2023 and I wrote on the piece of paper, get closer to God. As I kept attending church, this Pastor Trevor guy kept talking about rooted. Rooted this and rooted that, but I felt like he was yelling directly at me almost as if he was singling me out. I asked God, is this what you want me to do? All I want to do, Lord, is learn about you. And right then and there, the Holy Spirit said yes. So I signed up and began rooted in his path. My heart changed fear into happiness and solace. He changed my outlook and perception. After I finished my rooted experience, my determination and motivation to pursue Jesus has further increased. It made me want to continue on to phase two and co-lead as a facilitator. So I would say I didn't just complete Rooted, I ended up with a new family.